Hi, my name is Tero Salonen and I will now introduce you EPDM audit log which is an add-in solution for SolidWorks Enterprise PDM developed by ATRSoft. It's used to track file usage inside Enterprise PDM. EPDM audit log uses Microsoft SQL Server as a log file storage. In order to use EPDM audit log, you need to first create database by using the duckbug file provided by EPDM audit log. In order to create a database, you need SQL package tool, which is part of the DuckFX package. You can download that package from Microsoft website for free. You need to provide target database information in order to publish database. After you have created the database, you can configure EPDM add-in. Log in to the EPDM vault and create new add-in. Pick the two files related to add-in and click OK to create add-in. After that, you are able to configure database connection. By default, the database connection connects to the local database. Next, I will show you how administrators can access the log logging information. For that purpose, we have a separate tool called EPDM Audit Viewer, which connects to the audit log database. At the top, you can see the connection string to the target database, which is stored in application settings, so you only have to define that once. If you hit the Enter key, you can see all the events that has occurred in the last 24 hours. In the log, you can see various information, such as the timestamp of the event, the IP address of the client computer, name of the client computer, and logged in EPDM user. You also see the file name and the file version. You can sort information by clicking the column header. And at the bottom, you have filters to search events with different values. So if I search, if I clear the search criteria and hit the search, I will see all the events in the database. If I want to search for a particular file, I can type the full file name or just part of the file name and hit the enter and I can see all related events. I can also search events that has occurred at particular time for instance, I can select 15th of April and I can see all the events that has occurred at selected time frame. I can also search values by user. And once again, I can type the whole username on just part of the file uh, username. I can search by IP or by hostname. So for instance, if I type uh, 062, I can see all the events that has occurred in that particular host computer. So if I clear the whole search criteria, Click the search, I can see all the latest events. Now, if I open Vault from this computer, we can see that I'm currently logged in as Mary. I can click, for instance, the tutorial folder, and Team Expert, select all the files, 
and get latest information. And as we can see, currently I don't have any local version of selected files. Now, if we search, for instance, by the user, Mary, we can see the latest events here, which matches the current timestamp. In your EPDM environment, you can have as many EPDM audit viewer applications. It's not connecting directly directly to the EPDM world, but our log database. So EPDM license is not required by the EPDM audit viewer. Thank you for your attention.